you are. So recently I really wanted to collaborate with some more digital artists. I went on stream, I went on Twitter, and I was like, who wants to draw with me? And I did that specifically because I found this really cool website to where you are able to draw with other digital artists on the same canvas at the same time time. You could see each other's brushes, you could see each other's methods and styles, and it's crazy watching them create something while you're creating something like on the same canvas at the same time. It's it's nutty. It's kind of wild. I've done this before and I've tested it before with like 10 other artists, but it's been a long time and there's been some updates. Without further ado, what I'm talking about is called Magma Studio IO. It is a browser that allows for free people to collaborate together. It's a collaborative program. It's a collaborative website. It's it's awesome. It's incredible. And I've done this with professional artists and I've done this with amateur artists and I've experimented and it's really fun. So I'm going to show you a stream where I ask live. And if you'd like to join these streams, by the way, you can do so by clicking the link down below to my Twitch and turning notifications on because I don't really have a schedule uh, because I'm, <laughs> I am make content for all these different platforms, but it's it's nothing crazy. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fun there. Oh, also side note, there's going to be a bit of a time difference because I did this a few days ago before I trimmed down all this. So I, I look like a wild man, but I got to draw with one of my uh, my favorite artists, uh, Swoops Star. She's a she's a Russian digital artist who makes these adorable, fun, cute kind of cartoony stylized pieces that are just uh, they're amazing. And watching her work as fast as she does on these like kind of like simple ish cartoon pieces while I'm actually like painting right next to her is this weird, crazy experience. So I'm gonna walk you through what's going on while also talking about what Magma Studio IO is. So let's jump into that. Hello. Who here wants to draw with little old me? You are Swoop, ah, there we go. Hey Swoop, you Swoop, you wanna draw with me? I'm honored. I'm excited. That's cool. That's I, I plan if this is if this goes well, I plan on putting this video on YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? <laughs> I'm a DM you on Twitter. You okay with that? That way I'll know for sure. It's really you. You make me nervous. Don't be nervous. Swoops. What do you want to draw? You want to just want to doodle? All right. Swoops. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Welcome to Magma Studio IO. This is Swoops. Right up there. You see Swoops little cursor? That's Swoops. So let's talk a little bit about what Magma Studio IO is. It is a it is a website that works on pretty much every major browser and it's a professional level art program. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to subscribe. Uh, it is available for free and it has a couple different price plans that allows you to use custom brushes and all that stuff. But you know me by now, probably. <laughs> and uh, I always prefer like the basic brushes that everyone can use, everyone has access to, you know, hard round, soft round, that kind of stuff. And that's what I paint with, and that's what I'm going to paint with. And that's what Swoops is painting with also, by the way, or technically drawing, I suppose. And there is something I noticed, uh, pin pressure on some browsers and some tablets uh, have a tendency to not work as properly as maybe you prefer. Uh, thankfully, Magma Studio does have a couple of like really helpful step-by-step -step guides in case your browser needs a couple like extra boxes checked. It's really nothing crazy and it's pretty simple to fix. But other than that, what's great is you can have several, several artists working on the same project at the same time without stepping on each other's toes because each artist, uh, depending on whoever the admin or admins of the project are, uh, they can dictate who gets what layers. And so every artist who logs into the URL that you set up, they'll click the URL and they'll go in there and they can claim a layer as, as theirs or they can make a new layer and it's just their layer and it's their layer that no one else can mess with unless you're an admin. <laughs> Uh, until they abandon the lair and then someone else can come and pick it up. And so that, that keeps you from messing with other people's stuff on accident, or maybe someone got a hold of your URL and wants to mess with you on purpose in case you got a couple jokesters running around in your community. It's super simple. I, I've streamed with this. It was great. This is the f uh, second time I've streamed with Magma Studio. The first time was with Young Khan, a great, amazing artist who's just getting better and better by the, by the years. And it was, it was easy. It was fast. It was so cool. Now my favorite part 
about Magma Studio is if you rotate your canvas, if you flip your canvas, it does not affect the other person's point of view. So they could be flipping their canvas, rotating it, moving things around, and all you see them doing is your perspective of what they're working on. And so you'll notice me flipping the canvas back and forth like you know I, I tend to do, but to swoops, I don't look like I'm doing anything but drawing on this individual, just like how she could flip and rotate her canvas and all I see is just what she's working on. And each person has their cursor with their little name on it and there's actually even a chat. So in case you don't wanna be in a Discord call or a Skype call or a Zoom meeting, you could just chat with your friends. Just hit enter and a little chat thing comes up and you could just type it up if you want. It's it's really cool. It, it tries to make sure that it's as close to Photoshop as possible. And some people might prefer Clip Studio or Krita or any of these other, you know, Autodesk, Sketchbook, even Procreate. You might have all these different per preferences, but they all kind of tend to use layers and, you know, basic things like B for brush, you know. Uh, L for lasso, you know, just hotkeys like that. There tends to be uh, swatches or, or certain, the, the color wheel, you know, it, it, it's as close to a perfect happy medium between these different platforms as I've ever been able to find for a free browser window. Now, I personally have not tested on the iPad, but I have an iPad and I plan on testing it pretty soon on one of my streams. But also, I do have a lot of digital artist friends, as you can probably imagine, and one of them has tested it on their iPad and they say it works great. It works fine with the Apple Pencil. I had this open and it was on my Wacom Cintiq and I was drawing it on my Wacom Cintiq just like I would be with Photoshop or any of these other programs. And it felt really, really natural, especially seeing as you're able to mess with the hotkeys and make it as as close to your own workspace as you normally would. Now, I haven't done a huge, you know, one of my big pieces before on this program, but that is, by the way, on the list of things that I want to do. I would like to have a handful of artists that we can collaborate on a big, actual, full piece maybe like an environmental piece with like, a, or a city or a village or who knows, you know, it could be anything. And that's the beauty of this program that I've found. So who is this for? That's the big question. Now, the, now the one I've got, I got three, three options as to who this could possibly be for. This could be for the group of friends the digital artists who want to practice and work and just hang out. If you just want to just relax with your friends, you all just want to draw together. You all just want to work together, kind of like answer each other's questions or just, just shoot the breeze because digital art and just art in general can be kind of isolating, especially we've we figured that out now with these recent uh, events that we've been kind of living through the past year or so. Digital art is extraordinarily isolating. It's easy to just lose touch with reality and friends. And I'm getting kind of dark in a little dark place right now, but <laughs> like no one's, no one's safe from that thing. So the fact that you're able to sit here and draw with your friends and you could all work on styles, you can all work on textures, you could practice, you could do studies, you could do whatever you want on this program with your friends. It is so social and it is is free, like I said, and you can have multiple people and it's 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 functional and it, and it works and it feels natural and it's easy. Easy, and they have the chat. They have in you know on-platform ways for you to communicate if you don't want to be in on call. So it makes things really nice. So two, I could see this being for sort of like a teaching situation, sort of like education. So for example, I've actually been looking into this program. I want to start teaching with this. You know how I like to do my tutorials? Well, I wanted to do a little more like maybe offer one-on-one -on -one time with certain people who like really are struggling with a particular thing. Like, man, Brandon, how do I work with metal? How do I do this sheen? How do I work with dynamic poses? You know, I can sit there with them or anybody. If you would like to help your friend who's trying to work on turning their stick figures into actual people, you could sit there with them and you could draw to the side. You could draw over their stuff without actually worrying about messing with their stuff because again, your layers are separated. This could be very helpful in holding someone's hand or guiding someone someone through a thing or both people working on this problem and you're trying to figure out how best to find a solution. Maybe you want to find a really cool pose for this character that you're both writing a story about. Who knows? Like that's the point of collaboration, right? This is an awesome little like <laughs> tool for education and, and social work. And then the third option is the actual professionals. This I can absolutely see being a professional use 
collaborative platform. I could definitely see this being used by studios who are trying to, you know, find interesting ways for their art director and their team to all kind of work collaboratively. Or if they want to hire contractors, you can just hop in one of these real quick and pump out a couple thumbnails and a couple rough drafts and ideas. Boom, boom, boom. You got it done. And you can, you can see each other. You can work with each other right there super fast. You don't have to worry about any of this weird like time delay situation. Of course, you know, naturally that's, that's par for the course. Usually with art directors, they give them a couple notes and send them off their way so the art directors can go to meetings, which they love so much. This is, like I said, the most collaborative, fun, easy, social use tool I have ever seen or found for digital artists. It's incredible. So let's talk about some of the cons, right? The cons that I've managed to find is the, the brushing isn't as smooth as maybe say Photoshop or Clip Studio or, or Procreate. For example, the brushes don't respond the same kind of way. They, they do seem a little, a little choppy to a certain extent. And, and choppy is, you know, a subjective term, obviously, uh, but they do have, you know, stabilization. So you can smooth out your lines if you need to, just like how Photoshop and Procreate and all this stuff does. If you'd like to use your own custom brushes, or if you'd like access to some of the other more advanced brushes that use a little extra power to, to create, you could say, a uh, pro version is probably going to be your best bet. And it is, it is like a Photoshop light. It is mildly stunted. It doesn't have all the huge, awesome tools that most professionals really, really love about high end art programs like gradient maps and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't really have that many of those, but it does have blending modes. So if you want to make a clipping mask over one of your layers and set it to overlay and color with it, that's actually what I do with this uh, weird de <laughs> demonic Statue of Liberty thing I'm drawing. I just just to test it out. So that does have that. It is slightly less functionality than the full on program. But that's sort of like the trade off that I personally think is totally worth it. So on the topic of pricing at the moment, at the current recording of this video in June 2021, there is three tiers. They've got community, pro and studio. Community is for personal use unlimited public drawing. It has the basic brushes, you know, the hard round, and the soft round, that kind of stuff. The canvas size maxes out at 1920 by 1920. You can export the artwork as an image. You can keep inactive drawings or inactive projects for 30 days before it has to get rewritten to save space. You can have up to two concurrent sessions for the free version, just two. So if you have two projects that you're working side by side, that's fine. You, you can't have more than that though. You gotta, you know, allocate that space a bit. And then my favorite part about this entire thing is you can have up to 30 people drawing at the same time per session. For the free version, you could have up to 30 people sitting there drawing on this canvas for the free version. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. This offers so much for just the free basic version. That's why I'm coming to you saying that this is the best thing I've ever found, the best thing I've ever seen. I've used this, I've tested this. You're watching me do it right now. And then they've got the pro plan, which is $9.99 a month USD. And that's for commercial use. You know, it has password protected drawings. You could use texture brushes. The canvas size maxes out at 4096 by 4096. You can export the artwork as PSDs for layer saving, you know, in case you want that stuff, because it's, it's for professionals. You don't expect to just export it as just a PNG or a JPEG, like for regular free stuff. Pro stuff, you get the PSD files. You get, the, you get to keep the layers. It's meant for work, right? You can keep the inactive drawings forever, up to five concurrent sessions instead of the previous two five gigs of cloud storage and you have priority access to the latest features obviously you know for the for the actual customers of the service it's super like they're trying to make sure that their customers get the most value which is totally admirable and then the studio package, which again, like I'm getting into the prices and stuff. Most people are just going to go for the free version because it's really cool. But in case you are curious, the studio version is 50, technically speaking, 49.99 per user per month. It's the all pro plus baby. It's, it's, it's the studio version. You get the management panel. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen one. Unlimited private drawings, unlimited cloud storage, advanced security. I'm guessing that means two, two factor authentication and all that cool stuff. SSO login, priority support. Uh, they do plan on ha allowing you to import your own custom brushes that is on the list, but I don't think it's actually implemented yet. Like I said, this is still new. This is still kind of ground floor stuff. And I've seen the basic stuff and the basic stuff works fantastic. So when you get access to this cool extra stuff, I imagine it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, custom features. Don't know what that is. 
is necessarily training and implementation. So in case you need uh, to train someone on this program, the, the, the full version of this program, I, I doubt you'll have to worry about that personally, but it is an option and on-premise installation. So I believe they're planning to make this into an actual program, like a full-fledged program where you are able to do this this web this 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 web browser like stuff where you're able to see each other's brushes and you're able to see each other collaborate in real time i expect they are making this a full-fledged program that you can download and install on your device so there we go that's our little demonstration that's that's i've tested this out and you'll see swoops the 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 artist is able to just blow me <laughs> and my painting out of the water i'll i'll let y'all judge which one do you think is better personally we all, while this while we were streaming we were like oh man i guess she's making like the raid team versus my raid boss it was really fun it was really cool like i said and this thing hold this whole thing took like three hours or so but it was so amazing being able to just log in i gave her a url i said click that and it took her directly to the canvas and she just had access to everything that i had access to it's so simple like i said i'm going to be doing this on stream more often so i can draw with other artists and do more collaborative projects I'm really looking forward to it. Also, I really want to open up, you know, one on one time for other maybe beginner artists or even intermediate people who just want to see from a different point of view. I'm really looking forward to the, the possibilities this thing has. Magma Studio IO. I look forward to seeing you in stream. I look forward to hearing from you and all the cool things you and your friends have done. Just just get some friends, log in and just start jamming and you'll fill the entire canvas up with all kinds of weird doodles. Just experiment, just try it out. It's free, it's fun, go for it. Anyway, with this out of the way, thank you all so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video and thank you so much to my amazing patrons. I appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me and I will see you in the next video. Take care.